Hi, everyone. <laughs> this is Kokushi from the Double Jump to Tokyo. And currently, I'm in charge of the overseas marketing for the MyCrypt Heroes and also the doing partnerships for the new project called MCH Plus. T today, I'm going to explain about the MCH and also the new project. Okay, so let's see the summary of the, our company first. Our company is called Double Jump to Tokyo, which was founded last uh, 2018, April. And current our company size is the 15. So half of them are working on MyCrypt Heroes, and the rest of them working on for the new project. And we raised a fund from Gumi, so far 3 million US dollar. OK, let's move on to the MyCrypt Heroes. Probably most of the guys you know about it. So our game is a turn-based game, and the current DAU is around 6,000. So, and fortunately, we're running top among the Ethereum blockchain games so far. And our revenue share, since we released, is around 11,000 Ether, including the Hero Press cell and also the Land cell. And uh, our user base is 70%, 75% comes from the Japan. So, oh. so around f more than 4,000 people comes from the Japan. And this is uh, our our trade is very active. We keep running among top or second place among the depths when you look at the open sea in terms of the trade trading volume. And we have a PVE like player versus enemy mode. It's a quest, and also the PVP. It's a kind of tournament. And these heroes and items and the land that I'll explain later are ERC721 token. And this is how to generate Ether with a user respect. So send quest, and if they are lucky enough, they will get the original extension uh, items, and they can sell it on OpenSea. And this is, OK, so let's go to the more details. First, I'll explain about our ecosystem design. The reason why we think the ecosystem design is very important for a blockchain game is we think the trading Trading is the most coolest part of the blockchain game. And to maximize it, we think we need uh, some, types of peop some types of people who has different purpose of playing MCH. Otherwise, they keep doing the same thing, like choosing the same strong hero and same similar parties. Then the, co <laughs> the trading will be get stuck that's what we don't want. So we try to attract some types of people. We categorize as a four these roles, farmers, warriors, and creators, and merchants. I'm going to explain a little bit about each of, each of this. So farmer. This is uh, well, people who keep grinding through the quest. And in our game, there are two types of items. One is the ERC721 token, called uh, original extension. And the other one is the called the replica extensions. And you can get each of them, or sometimes both, through the quest. Of course, you can sell it the uh, original extension on OpenSea, so you can, s you can definitely earn some money through the questing. And if you get the replica extension, which is not ERC721 token, you can sell it at the lab, and you can burn it, and instead in, you will get the in-game currency. This is how the farmer play our game. And the second, our warrior. This is a point the people who loves the PvP battle. We have some types of PvP, like the official cup, and also the there is a land competitions, and also there is arena where the where the people can host the their own tournament by themselves. And the creator, the for the MyCrypt Heroes, you can create the pixel art by yourself, and also you can sell it in our market. So these, these arts are created by the player. Some of them very love to creating the, the, these pixel arts. And if also we have the like function. If you get enough like from other players, then you will get the trophy. And then you will get a special reward. And also the merchant. Well, 
it's very easy to understand, but we have an uh, in-game market and also the outside market like OpenSea, and they will try earn money through the trading. So they will increase the liquidity of the market. So these are basic our ecosystem roles and ecosystem. And the second I'm going to talk about the MSH Prime. Well, I explained that we have 6,000 daily active users, but uh, when you look at the DAP rater, there are only 3,000. The, re the reason why there is a difference is, is uh, our gameplays are off-chain side, not on-chain. That's why user behavior won't record it on the uh, Ethereum. So where they come from is the, this daily bonus. Daily bonus is uh, everyone can, not everyone, only MCH Prime member can re uh, claim, and they can do every day. And they will get uh, some amount of the in-game currency. And that will cause the transactions. And this one is only allowed for the paid, uh, prime member who pay the 0.1 ether per month. So which means the 3,000 out of 6,000 people, player, paying 0.1 ether every month. And the third land, there are nine lands in our MCH. And we sell it uh, to September? No. The, we sell them this February. And we raised, uh, well, the sell hit to the 5,000 ESA. The reason why they purchase our land is uh, because they will get 30% revenue share comes from their land. So if you, your land member purchase the in-game currency with ESA, 30% will distribute to the landowners. So we try to give the very strong incentive to expand our game. So we have a, in, a Discord channel for each land in our Discord server. And uh, the people who has tons of land called as a king, one of the king write up many articles to attract new players to MCH and also their, his land. And also the other guy tried to attract through giving 55 ETH with a token pocket, which is a Japanese wallet developer by, them, by himself. We didn't do anything this. So yeah, this is how, give, uh, how we gave incentive to expand our game to users. And then let's move on to the new next project called MCH Plus. MCH Plus is to expand our economy, ecosystem, and also the usage of the NFT. It's a kind of the accelerator program. We will, pro we will support the third-party developer in terms of the finan financial support up, up to 500 ETH, and also marketing support and technical problem we, so we help, and also the designing ecosystem as well. In return, we ask them to use our, some of our game assets so that we, so that in our respect, we can increase the usage of an NFT, and also the, for the third party, they will get many benefit from us. And well, the reason why we did this is because we want to increase more value of our NFT, and also we think we need more good titles to expand this industry. And one of the way to increase our usage of NFT is that we write up recently. It's called NFT converter contract. So this, through this contract, once you send a specific NFT to this contract, then you will get other corresponded the NFT. We collaborate with the Crypto Spells, which is a Japanese trading card game, which was released uh, last month and uh, also do crowd sale. The sale was a 900 ether. Well, anyway, then <laughs> we collaborate with them. This is the first use case of our NFT converter contract. So once you send a Hans Christian Andresen to this contract, you will get the little match girl instead. So through this contract, we think the usage of, the usage of each NFT will increase and also we, uh, easily we can do the cross promotion. So we think, we believe this is good for both developers and also the users as well. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you. Any questions? 
Uh, hi. Hi. Um, I'm wondering uh, why did you chose uh, Ethereum as the main currency and how do you mitigate the transaction fees and transaction time? Uh, well, the reason why we chose Ethereum was uh, first, the time we designed our game, there wasn't that much choice. <laughs> that was the uh, last ap 2000, April 2018. But now, why we stuck in the Ethereum is uh, because the ecosystem, like including outside wallet and also the OpenSea, like exchange market, is are already built. That's why we choose Ethereum. Looking at uh, like other, you know, EOS or other ontology, there isn't the exchange market as far as I know. <laughs> yeah, that's why I didn't choose it.